really happy with your work lately, Libby. Thanks. I've been happy with yours too. You know, in times of slavery, masters would reward outstanding work by allowing slaves to grow their own vegetables. I think you'd be just about ready for your veggie patch. What? Oh, I'm not saying you're a slave. I'm not a slave. I'm saying if you were a slave, I, as your mistress, would reward you. But you're not my mistress. No, not in that sense, no. Not in any sense. Words. So difficult to agree on the definition of words. Hi. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm going to work in a minute. You're a... No, no, no. I'm sorry if I scared you. I'm, I'm a waiter in a theme restaurant. Oh, cool. I'm... You're still scared of me, aren't you? No. You can clean this room. Okay. I'm locking the door behind me! Wait, what? <sighs> this is the third time Libby's been trapped in a room in this job. Do you realise that? I wasn't counting. Who's she stuck in there with? A ghoul. Did you just say a ghoul? Oh, it was the only way. Well, if it was the only way... I'm going to take a break and walk around the neighbourhood looking in windows. Hey, you're supposed to care about what happens to Libby. She's your girlfriend. Yes, I have been waiting for you to say that. Libby is my girlfriend. I win. You said I could never get her and I proved you wrong. I never said you could never get her. Then what was I trying to prove? I don't know. I don't know where you do any of the things that you do. But if you're not going to save your girlfriend, I am. Ha! Girlfriend, you said it again. <laughs> I don't know for the life of me why that feels so good, but it does. It really does. So basically, I bring food to tables while dressed like this. That's it. That's the job. That's awesome. I would love to do a job like that. You could. Me? Oh, <laughs> no. You totally could. It's literally just dressing like this and taking food to tables. That's it. You think I could? That would be incredible. It's weird that you think you couldn't. Uh, Libby. Are you okay? I'm fine. Um, we're here to... Uh, uh, don't know, say some? We're here to rescue Libby. Oh yeah, from this guy. She doesn't need rescuing. <laughs> There's nothing to be scared of. I'm a person. I wear orthopedic shoes. I'm fine, really. I've just been talking to this guy, whose name I don't know, and I want to be a theme restaurant waiter. Waitress. You'd be a waitress. That sounds more complicated. Let's just forget it. It's exactly it. the same job. I want to be a theme restaurant waitress. Well, hey, I mean, if that's what you want to do. Nah, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry? I can't allow my girlfriend to be a theme restaurant waitress. It's out of the question. And what's wrong with being a theme restaurant waitress? You know what's wrong with it. No, I don't. Tell me. You're making it angry. You're making it angry. I'm out of here. Okay, guys, right, let's just settle down. You can't tell me what to do with my life. If you want to destroy it, I can. No, you can't. Yeah, Libby is free to destroy her life any way she chooses. Hey, my life is fine. I host the monthly book club, BYO Nibbles. I have a code of ethics. I have a list of things that people I find sexually attractive cannot do. Carrying two full buckets of water, that's in the list. The answer is no. Well, I'm sorry, Philip. Maybe I won't really be a restaurant theme... What is it? Waitress. Waitress. But what I know for sure is that I can't be with somebody who would stop me from following my dreams. No matter how crazy... Not crazy. ...or unrealistic that dream might be. Totally realistic. You could come with me to my work now. They'd hand you a couple of plates in a week. Oh, God, the thought of it. We're finished, Philip. It's over. Fine. In fact, ha, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Suck it! <laughs> that's not what I wanted to happen? Not really. Mm. Magda, no, don't... Sorry about this. It's fine. <laughs>